So I am stood with an icon of Liverpool, and I'm, I'm not just talking about Phil Olivier, uh, <laughs> chief exec of Liverpool City sites. The Royal Daffodil uh, is in dock here at Duke Street in Birkenhead, and it's, it's kind of soon to embark on a new chapter, Phil. Tell us what's happening. Yeah, well, um, it's been laid here for the past six years, which is a shame, um, and it got decommissioned, and it's left here to rot, waiting for someone um, with the right opportunity and the right vision to take it forward. And we're about to embark on a new journey, like you said. Um, it's got three floors to it. We're going to be opening a bar, a restaurant, and also accommodation downstairs. It's going to be part of the picture postcard of Liverpool for many years to come. And you're right in the sense of the Royal Albert Dock, which is stunning. So this is a permanent, this will be there forever. Once once it's in Cannon Dock, you know, you can come and visit this seven days a week for the foreseeable future. Yeah, I'm hoping it's, not, it's there for not only my lifetime, but my children's lifetimes, yeah. Passing by tourists, if you think about them coming off a cruise ship, to, to, to take in some of Liverpool's history with a little drink in the hand is incredible too. Yeah, uh, you know, we, we've got Liverpool City sites which is um, which has been remarkable for us so um, open top bus service and we're hoping as well that we're going to give in the bridge as well we're going to give a nod to the history of the Mersey ferries as well um, it you know this it's the heritage which has been with us now it's been going since the 800s when the monks started the, the ferry passing so we're going to give a nod to that and basically if anyone wants to see they can go over to NML National Museum to Liverpool to see the history of the ferries but if you want to see something practical come along here and you can do it with a nice glass of Prosecco in your hand as well uh, how are you going to do this, Phil? Because obviously there's a lot of work needs to do, and it's been here for six years. Uh, work has started, as you can hear behind us. What's next in the process, in the journey to get it to Liverpool? Well, we obviously have to take it across the water to the slipways, uh, and we're taking it to Carmet, and they're going to be doing all the interior works, all the welding, all the shipbuilding, restoring it as was. A few minor changes, but we want to really keep the heritage of the boat. We'll be coming back across on high tide at the beginning of July, and we'll probably need just another couple of weeks to do few fixtures and fittings but um, we're really going high end as well so so fingers crossed that it's going to be a summer opening at the Royal Albert Dock and Cannon Dock yes please best of luck mate we're going to follow the journey for Olivier with the Royal Daffodil thank Thanks, you Jay.